Imagine living in a glass house that looks like a spaceship and spins like a top. This one in Auckland, New Zealand rotates 360 degrees every 33 minutes. Traveling 1.2 meters per minute, it provides an ever-shifting change of scenery without ever leaving the site. The house is on the market with a guide price of 1.5 million New Zealand dollars. It's the brainchild of seller Don Dunnick, an engineer who actually set up a company called Smart House 2000 to promote and build rotating houses. He envisioned the rotating house as an innovative improvement over conventional style homes. Under his grand plan, each house would be shipped in containers and erected on site. The idea, however, never got off the ground, and the Auckland house is the only one that exists. Dunnick, who is now 80, spent nearly two decades working on the house, which was completed in 2000. He and his family named it the Lighthouse and use it as a second home. It's never been for sale before. It was designed to promote indoor-outdoor living before the concept was even popular. The 1,173 square foot house has three bedrooms, one bathroom, and full length windows and sliding glass doors that open it up to the revolving views. It is set in a lushly planted landscape of native plants that in essence transforms it into a life-size terrarium. In addition to rotating, the house is set atop a pedestal that can be raised and lowered, making it virtually resistant to damage during natural disasters, like floods or cyclones. Dunnick is selling because he's relocating to Northland, a subtropical forested area on New Zealand's North Island, where he's originally from. The lighthouse is on the Pahutakawa coast, which is 35 minutes from Auckland's central business district and within walking distance of Maratai Beach. Maratai, a coastal town, is a popular holiday destination. Of course, if the buyer isn't keen on the location, that's easily rectified. The house is designed to be transported to any location imaginable. If you bought this home, would you keep it in New Zealand or move it somewhere else entirely? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more.